What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Wheel with Joseph Lumber. I'm here with Jagger Jones, rookie driver for the NASCAR k and Pro Series in the number six car. Uh, Jagger Jones, thank you for taking the time today. Oh, no problem. Thanks for talking to me. So uh, this is your first year in the k and Series. Uh, how are you enjoying this so far? You already got one race down. You guys are getting ready to go tonight for your second race of the season. Yeah, for sure. It's been good so far. Um, we got a second place. We're second in the points. So we're coming here, second race. Uh, pretty much a home track for me. I've done a lot of late model races here, so uh, looking for good things tonight. You've done a lot of late model races out here in Irwindale, but this is your first race ever in the K&N car, in a stock car. Um, you guys already ran like a few practice sessions since you guys been here. Any difference between a late model and a stock car out here? Yeah, for sure. You definitely got more power going down the straightaways, a lot more horsepower, and it's a lot heavier of a car, so you really feel that going through the corners, uh, trying to get them to turn and get off the brakes. Um, it's, yeah, late model's a lot lighter and you don't have as much power. So this it's a bit different, but we're been adapt I've been adapting pretty well. So I do want to ask you, how did you get involved in racing? Uh, my grandpa, uh, he raced Parnelli Jones. So he's been racing for, for much, much, much longer than I was al since I've been alive. And then my dad raced as well. So, so then I kind of just followed in their footsteps. Awesome, man. So I, I watched you out at Las Vegas and you, your very first race, and obviously you have the talent to be successful in the k and Series this season. What did, I know you guys ran dirt, but did you learn anything from that race that you can uh, provide for future races down the road this season? Yeah, for sure. It was a great race getting to be next to passing cars, kind of just getting a feel for the bigger car. I know it was on dirt, and something I learned was maybe be a little more aggressive through lap traffic, kind of force the issue more in some situations, instead of just ride around there at the end, even when you got a big lead. So uh, we'll take that into account tonight and try to be a little more aggressive. Obviously, that second place finish at Las Vegas gave you a lot of confidence. I know you were just a lap away from getting that first win until that move on the final lap from Haley. But how much confidence did that give you? Like, were you surprised that you did so well in the first race? Or, like, doing the practice sessions that weekend, you're like, okay, I, you know, I got this down. Did, did, how much confidence did it give you? Because obviously, we could see you in victory lane one of these races, maybe even tonight or uh, weeks down the road. Yeah, for sure. We were really good in practice at Vegas, and I knew we had a really good car. We didn't qualify, or we didn't even have qualifying, but we weren't super good in the final practice. But I knew from, uh, what was it, Wednesday night, we were we had a super good car. I knew I'd, I could do it, and uh, even going into that weekend, I, I didn't make any, any excuses for myself. I was like, my first K&N race, well, doesn't mean I'm going to go out here and run fifth or anything. I want to go out and win. That's my goal when I show up every week to every racetrack. So same thing applies here. I'm showing up here my first uh, K&N race on the asphalt but we got high hopes got a lot of confidence I think in myself I know we my team has uh, done really well here in the past they've of course won championships so I think um, the goal is the same as always to come out here and win you guys are racing at Irwin Day with the night how's the car for tonight uh, obviously you guys have not qualified yet but you did a few practice sessions uh, is the car good is there anything you need to adjust uh, whether with the car on the racetrack, uh, what are we expecting from you tonight? Yeah, we've been pretty pretty good. I wouldn't say we're the fastest last night or today, but I think we're right there, definitely in the top five on the speed charts. And in, in my opinion, I think we're a top five, or not even a top I think we have a car that can go out there and win the race is, race is long. We've got 150 laps. It's going to be a, a conserve game, I think, a little bit at the beginning, and then go hard that last uh, final stretch. So, yeah, we have a good. We had a good car. All the practice sessions, uh, we made a lot of adjustments. Just going back and forth, trying to find like the middle ground where we, we'll think will be best for the race. And I think uh, we're pretty happy with we, where we are. Um, I'd say we're not blistering fast out of the gates like some of these other cars are throwing down some good laps. But I think we'll have a good shot in qualifying, and uh, from there, just be smart in the race. Got a couple of fan questions uh, from my viewers. Uh, so. Prior to your entrance in the seat of an actual race car, did you partake in any race simulator such as iRacing that may have helped you get where you're at today? Or do you use iRacing as a tool to uh, to do any practice runs to be prepared for race weekend? 
Yeah, for sure. I, I'm always on iRacing. I host some races every once in a while, and um, I do a lot of practice on there. But I actually started in go-karts, and then I started racing Legends and stuff, and that's when I got iRacing about, I think, five years ago, a couple years after I actually started racing. But for sure, iRacing, I, especially if I haven't been to a track before and we're going there for a race weekend, iRacing is a huge tool that can help me. Even here, I did some. I did a hosted race on uh, Thursday night at the can here at Irwindale on iRacing in the K&N cars. Did some laps, practiced some passing, just little stuff like that. iRacing really helps. Despite the big differences in what uh, the two of you, I'm um, speaking about your grandfather here, uh, the two of you drove. Is there any advice that your grandfather shares uh, shares with you? That uh, what kind of advice does he give you? Um, I, I would assume he's been a huge help for you and stuff, but what kind of advice does he give you like either be at any race weekend? Yeah, he, he doesn't get to come to too many races, but for sure he's been helping me out, giving advice. Uh, he's really big on, he always tells me that it's easy to go out there and go fast, but it takes a real driver to go out there and win. It's a whole different story than just being fast. So he's got a lot of advice, a lot of stories for sure. Um, and it's really cool to be able to talk to him and have him as a grandpa and even go ask him for advice. All right, last question for you here. Uh, anybody you got to thank to make this all possible for you? Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of people. My whole team, Sunrise Ford, uh, my spotter, Ryan, my crew chief, Bill Sedwick, and, of course, Bob Brancati, who's uh, really helped me uh, move up into the K&N seri series. Of course, he owns this team, and he's provided a great team, great place for me, and also all my sponsors, uh, XYO, uh, Method, Easy Cut, um, everyone, just everyone else that's helped, my mom, my dad, for sure, everyone. Jack Jones, I do want to appreciate you taking the time today to interview, to do this interview. I wish you the best of luck tonight, and hopefully maybe we can see you in victory lane All later right. tonight. Thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> Jack Jones, a rookie driver for the NASCAR k and Pro West Series, uh, getting ready to go here at Irwindale tonight. He said he's got a good car. We'll see if he can park in victory lane tonight.